Hey everybody, welcome to Rack's Barbecue and Grill. My name is Rich. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make candied jalapeno barbecue sauce. So stick around and let's get cooking. All right guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make my candy jalapeno barbecue sauce that you've seen me do in uh, my last video with the pork shots. Real simple recipe, but it's it's a delicious recipe. You'll be using it on your ribs, pulled pork, wherever you use barbecue sauce. If you like spice, this will be your go-to sauce. Um, like I said, real simple. We start with two cups of ketchup. Follow that with a cup and a half of brown sugar. Then a half a cup of uh, jalapenos. I use pickled jalapenos in the jar. Just dice them up, um, relatively small. You don't want big chunks in there. Next, we're gonna do two tablespoons of molasses. Um, a little trick when working with molasses or honey or anything that's sticky, if you kind of give a quick coat of oil on your spoon and this stuff will roll right off when you dump it out. So two tablespoons of molasses is one. The spoon's nice and clean. And two. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. If I said that right, the W sauce. That's how I, we'll call it the W sauce. So about one tablespoon of that. And then the last thing we're gonna do is a teaspoon of granulated salt, teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Throw that in there, give everything a good mix. Scrape the sides, get everything down inside, into the, towards the middle. And now all we do is throw it over some fire, bring it to a boil, let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Don't have an outside grill burner for doing this, so I'm just using my grill over here. So we'll let that go for about 10 minutes so it comes to a boil, crank the heat down, stir it for another 10 minutes or so, and it'll be done. Okay guys, um, it's been about 10 minutes, so this has come up to a nice little boil for us. We're just going to turn the temperature down, and stir it every once in a while, let it simmer for about another 10 minutes, and then it'll be done. We'll come back and show you the end result. Simmering and stirring for the past 10 minutes. The sauce is done. We are going to pull it. And that's it. The sauce is done. You're going to let it cool and then throw it into a canning jar. Or if you want to get fancy and you've got an old barbecue empty bottle that you bought from another brand. You fill it up with that. Uh, I'm gonna try and taste it right now. It's gonna be really hot. We'll see what it tastes like right now. Oh, it's perfect. It's got a nice, nice bite to it. Um, keep in mind with this recipe, we use um, half a cup of the jalapenos. You can put more if you want it more spicy. You can put less, obviously, if you want it less spicy. You could take it out all together and throw in some peaches if you just want like a, a candied peach sauce. You could, it's very versatile. Just take those jalapenos and replace it with whatever your heart desires. Um, like I said, real simple sauce. It's good stuff, man. So that's it, guys. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. We're going to be doing as many videos as we can in the coming days, weeks, months. Um, again, have my beautiful daughter Caitlin behind the camera assisting <laughs> and that's it thanks again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time